So now that we know how to set the machine up from the gas tank through the internals, let's talk about the front end. Uh, let's talk about um, guns and torches and accessories. So on the front of the machine, the ground clamp, if you weld electrode positive, um, stick, MIG, TIG, whatever, whatever you have electrode positive, which TIG typically is electrode negative, your electrode positive, in order to juice this outlet, this pigtail here gets plugged into the positive outlet right there. In order to insert it the correct way, there's a little knob on there. You insert this at 12 o'clock, and you can see when I let go, it wants to spin to the right. If your cable wants to spin to the left, I encourage you to give it a full counterclockwise turn so when you plug it in, it wants to go to the left and wants to seat by itself all the way. Your ground clamp, you attach in the other port. Make sure it's seated. So if you were going to stick weld, you plug your stick stinger into one, the ground clamp into the other. If you MIG weld, you put your MIG gun in here, juice your MIG gun. Typically, everything is electrode positive. The gasless flux cord wire would be electrode negative. You would just flip flop these two plugs around. And then um, plug your MIG gun in. For auto body sheet metal and uh, exhaust work, we typically use the 15 series gun labeled ER150. For general fabrication, steel, stainless, silicon bronze, we use the 24 series gun ER240. For aluminum, we have a few options. The most economical option, most convenient option is the 26 series gun labeled ER260. So we recommend 10 foot guns for steel, stainless, and flux core, uh, eight or eight and a half foot gun for aluminum. Now, if you need more than eight and a half foot range, there is a 19 foot long push-pull gun that can be plugged in here and there. And Everything is dialed in, the, speed, the steep speeds between the motors are matched. If you need more than 19 feet, we have a 25 foot long spool gun that you can plug in here and here. And then the internal wire feeder is disabled and you can use your spool gun to weld aluminum. If you would like to TIG weld, you disconnect your MIG gun, you plug your TIG torch in the same connector Flip-flop the polarity around, make sure your torch is negative, your ground is positive. Plug your foot pedal into the remote receptacle and you can TIG weld.